Hello everyone, it's Jackie. I'm here today to share um, some books I got at my local library. They always have a whole area of books for sale. They have shelves of old books, they have art books and regular novels and nature books and healing books and all kinds of things. So I always stop in there once in a while just to see what I can find. Now, the first thing I found was this Ask, with, Ask Me Another, the question book. And this is, um, this is actually a first edition of this book. It's pretty funny. Um, it's from 1927. And there actually um, were two of these. So I'm going to share one of these in my ex Etsy shop. So if anyone is interested in one of these books, um, yeah, let me, it'll be in my et Etsy shop. So um, I wanted to share that with you guys. But it's pretty interesting, um, funny, um, funny things like um, what American woman as a reform in women's clothes originated the bloomer. I mean, just some really funny things. Who was the maiden beloved by Cupid? It just, it's all kinds of things. What have the following in common? Indian, Excelsior, Harley Davidson, Cleveland, and Henderson. And so it's really cool. And then all the answers are here in the back. This one is in um, pretty good shape. You know, it's, it's got some damage on the front a little bit. I have not tried to clean that. I just got these yesterday and I couldn't wait to share. So this one actually is in really, is in really good shape. Um, this one is in um, a little worse for wear shape. It has some damage on the spine. And it's got a little, this one, the cover is better than, than this one. Um, it's got a little writing here, um, but these pages are, um, you know, written in a bit. So I will probably um, keep this one because I'm going to take it apart anyway. And, um, you know, I may use the cover in something. I'm not sure. So I'll probably put this one in my Etsy store because it has less damage. It's really quite um, together. It doesn't have much going on there. So I have those. And... I got, a, I got a whole bunch. I got this little um, lessons, 100 lessons about business. And this book is um, quite worse for wear. Now, this is um, from Marvin Howard um, from 1896. He was the owner of this book. And the pages are absolutely falling out. What I'm hoping to do with this is to carefully take out the staples to keep the signatures together so I can use a whole page in a journal. And these are these are pretty pretty good size. So they're nine by um, five, a little, almost six, I guess six, nine by six. So those will be fun in journals and I may um, pop some of these pages in my Etsy store as well. Look at that one, isn't that cool? So there are a lot of really fun pages in this book. I was happy to find that. And so this book I originally picked up because I loved um, this cover and I thought that would be really nice as is. It's in pretty good shape. It is a Reader's Digest book, which I was happy to find. And these are short stories of mystery and terror. Um, I probably would cover this because I'm not a fan of orange, but who knows? So there's some things in here. There's an old, someone used for a bookmark in here. And there's not a lot of, um, there's a few um, little pictures, but not much. But I certainly like the cover and I love um, these pages. Um, as Gail Bogostinelli will tell you, um, you can be pretty sure that if you want to use the the writing in here that it's going to be um, safe to use as in there's no profanity or um, anything like that in there. So that was a fun find. And then I got this Grow, Crowning Glory Hymnal. 
cover is not in bad shape. And this was from the First Baptist Church in Fairhaven, Vermont, which is very cool. I live in Vermont, and so fun. And it's just got, you know, um, the all the Baptist-type um, things that we do, the doxology and the Gloria Patriot and the Apostles' Creed and those kinds of things. Um, and so this is very cool. It says the book was presented to Mr. and Mrs. Edwin Little by Mr. and Mrs. Lester Roberts in 1966. And it's a printing in, from 1965. So this has, you know, all the old time hymns. So fun. You know, many that I know I've, you know, grown up in a Baptist church here um, in Southern Vermont and um, know most of those hymns. Then I got this little book, which was fun, Pieces of Intelligence. And I just kind of picked it up thinking, oh, this is a great little size for maybe a little journal. And look at the, the cover. It's very cool. Love that. has a little bit of um, discoloration on the top. But these are fun. Um, not my fault. The problem is what people think that news is something that is announced before it happens, as opposed to something that is reported when it does happen. And I can't help that. <laughs> this was from a Department of Defense briefing, February 28th, 2003. So very, just really fun little things. Um, central question. It's awfully hard to know, in fact. It's impossible to know unless one just speculates. I don't know how many people who live in an exceedingly repressive regime actually like it. And this is from the Hoover Institution. So this, these are just kind of fun. I thought that... Um, you know, throwing into uh, a journal would be fun, and I liked the size of this little book. <laughs> this is by Donald H. Rumsfeld, by the way. Yeah, it's interesting. Just interesting. Lots of interesting little finds. Oh, and I just picked this up um, to read, actually. Uh, again, uh, um, Gail Agostinelli, who I watch her videos all the time, along with... Um, Wendy's Journal Invention and Mrs. Cog and Paula Forder and um, uh, more that I can't even remember right now. But Gail um, turned me on to Lisa Gardner, Gardner and I've been downloading her books in Audible because I, when I'm crafting, I generally listen to um, a book on Audible. On I should be filming videos and I'm going to try to start doing that more. So I got that. And then I found this. Look at this. How fun is this? This old things to make and do. Oh, love it. Look at this. Standard edition from 1957. The copyright was 1952. So this is not um, an original, but um, so fun. So fun. Look at this. Just, just so many fun things. And I will be taking this apart to add to journals. And um, little golden books. This will be so much fun in little golden books. But lots of fun in here. Um, maybe I'll make up. I do have one packet of um, coffee dyed papers that are, are not um, vintage. Um, that I have on my Etsy right now, and I think I'm going to put together another pack of um, more vintage pages. I have a dictionary um, that a friend gave me. He found in his grandmother's attic or somewhere. It's like it's like this thick, and that's vintage. So I might do um, a vintage pack of things. That would be kind of fun. This is called When We Were Young by A. A. Maline. And it's some pretty little things in here. <clears throat> and they're little um, poems. And this is definitely um, a vintage book. Um, what's it saying here? George Irving Dolby Jr. from Grandma, March 3rd, 1926. Oh, look at this. Look at those. See, I haven't looked through all of these. I just was so excited to share. Copyright was 1924. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so this is this is very cool. Um, yeah. 
and interesting. And I didn't ever realize that I should, knowing um, Winnie the Pooh, but um, Christopher Robin actually, um, A. A. Milne, I, I'm not sure how to say his last name, his son was actually Christopher Robin. And that's where the book name came from, Winnie the Pooh, the books of, you know, Christopher Robin. So that's fun. I might throw those in my vintage. We'll have to see. Here is another, um, this is Temperance Hymns and Songs. And this in here. I love the, um, the font in here. I'm trying to stay. I hope I've been in focus. But. So there's another hymnal that I will add pages to. Now this one. What draws me to books is the cover, and I love this cover. Again, I have not cleaned this, but this is in pretty awesome shape. It's the Complete Arithmetic, and it's pretty old. This is copyright, copyright of 1877, and this is... Let's see. I don't believe this is a, a first edition... Um, oh, actually, uh, okay, yes, the first copyright was 1877. This copyright was 1894, so it is rather old, but it's it's uh, pretty <laughs> interesting, um, you know, oral exercises in addition. If I have six books and you have three, how many books have we both? Interesting, the language that's used. And I hadn't noticed this. Can you, I'm hoping you can see this, the... Um, Maybe you can see it better down here, actually, the, on the edges of the book. That's really cool. So um, that's a cool little book. And let me see what else do I have. Oh, I showed you the that ones. I have so many here. Again, look, see, this, this color book just draws my attention because I love this color. This is a short course in surveying by Davis and Kelly. Very interesting. Um, let's see. So this says 1942. Um, the copyright uh, says 1942. So this is a, a vintage book. Now these pages are shiny, so they're a little bit difficult. I mean, they certainly can be taken out and used in a journal. Again, I might try to take these out in signatures, but maybe not. But these could be popped in. Just interesting things I have no interest in surveying or in math as the other book but anyway and then I found this which I just um, I was drawn to the name Charles A. Wagaman because he has been someone who has come to my church to preach um, off and on and um, this is one of his his books um, and it's just the illustrations in here are just pencil or pen and ink but look at how beautiful how beautiful and these are more um, um, poems and things definitely along um, the um, prayer type um, poems but for prayer journals and and just the I love the illustrations in here and my librarian was telling me that he would come into the library a lot and look up um, pictures that he wanted to do um like these are blueberries and then he would draw them out so um just beautiful and this is a copyright of 1991 he lived in pennsylvania at that time hmm. so very cool that was cool and i found this the bear family and i am this is an old book this is from the saxons river school library and look at these little bears i love them um, let's see, what is the, this is a science parade book, 1966 Harvey House. So I think this is a first edition. And I might look this up, actually, um, and see if this is anywhere. But I, I really liked the illustrations. <laughs> look at the baby bears. And I have, uh, bears, teddy bears are something that I love. So I have, I am working on, um, a book for myself, which is one of the Five Ring Binder um, Better Homes and Gardens new cookbooks, and it is going to be a bear journal um, just for me. Actually, I haven't worked in it for a while, but I loved just the bear illustrations, and it has a lot of um, 
facts about bears, but again, it's, you know, it's from, what did I say, 1966, so, and to just age myself, I was four years old when this book came out, so very fun, and in the back is the original um, little book plate, which is fun, so, oh, so cute. All right, so that's my big box here. So what else did I find? Um, this little Garden Birds book. Look at that beautiful cover. And this is, let's see, uh, copyright 1983. And I do not see that this is a second publishing, so I think this is good, but loved looking through this at these illustrations. So pretty. So pretty. Robin. Nice. Love it. There's the goldfinch. I have tons of goldfinches at my house all the time. Sparrows. Yes. Starling. Not so fond of those, but that's okay. So, really pretty. And I found this um, Monet art book, which has beautiful, beautiful Monet illustrations that I probably will look at for a while, but I'm sure I will um, take some of these apart to put in um, So let's see what was the Oh, it, it, and it, I love that it tells. This is so gorgeous. I love that one. I hope that's in the book somewhere else. This is a copyright of 1994. It was printed in Germany. So, lots of fun with that. And then I found this one, Survivors in the Shadows. These are threatened and endangered mammals of the American West. And this, uh, let's see. Um... Text copyright 1993, illustrations copyright 1993. This is a first edition, and it has the contents of all the animals. But let me get to the fun part. Look at this red wolf. I hope that's, am I in where you can see that? Yes. Isn't that gorgeous? The ocelot. That's a beautiful picture of Mr. Red Squirrel, whom I have tons of here. Look at this bear. Just really pretty. Um, and I love the little bit of maps in here that tell you where these things are. Oh, is there a gray wolf picture? Oh, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Sorry, I whisper when I really like things. Look at this beautiful, beautiful owl. So these were endangered animals. Um, let me see. From, oh, look at that beautiful, beautiful cougar. We have um, recently, some people have thought they have seen cougars around here in, in Vermont um, because they have a very long tail, so um, a little different than a bobcat and bigger than a bobcat. Um, I am not fortunate enough to very often see any, oh Mr. Skunk, I can't believe you're endangered, you're around my house all the time making smells. Um, so let's see, what did I say this was? So this was 1993, so uh, the endangered list has of course grown immensely, not only in the United States, but all over the world. Um, so not that that's one of my soapboxes, but please be aware of what we're doing to our land and our animals space. This book is um, the Reader's Encyclopedia. Now this is so interesting. And this is, let's see, copyright 1948 and 1955. So this is the 1955 copyright. But it's, it's you can go through here and find, um, you know, people that were in any, um, I'm trying to find one that would be common, people would know. Um, huh. So here's, for instance, Fuzzy Wuzzy, the title and hero of one of Kipling's Back Rack Room Ballads. So ears to you, Fuzzy Wuzzy, at your home in Sudan. You are poor, benighted, earthen, but a first-class fighting man. And ears to you, Fuzzy Wuzzy, with your Eric ad of air. 
you big black bound in beggar for you broke a British square. And um, we have a caterpillar, I'm sure it's all over, that's called, um, as a child I called, called it the fuzzy fuzzy. But just really interesting, um, you know, anybody that you wanted to find that's in a, a play or a movie or um, different things like that, you can find out more about um, the, it's the characters, not the actual people, but it's really fun. Um, and in books, too. Um, my librarian said to me um, when I was picking out all these books, she's like, well, you're not going to, like, tear these apart for your journals, are you? And I said, well, yeah, I am. And she said, but some of them are, like, first editions, or they're, they're so old, and this is, this is a wonderful book. And I said, yes, yes, it is, but... If I don't buy it to use in my journals and share them that way, they're just going to sit upstairs in your sale room and no one's going to buy them. No one's going to even ever see them. And she's like, okay. She was just kind of sad and I felt bad, but, you know. Okay, French Impressionist paintings. Look, oh, these are so fun. Look at this one. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And then I found a Van Gogh. A Van Gogh is um, one of my favorite artists, um, mostly because of A Starry Night. I have always loved that painting. Look at this. Um, can you see that? I'm hoping. Uh, not really. Um, Lots of just gorgeous, gorgeous paintings. I recently got from, um, where did I get it from? I believe Artie Mays, or was it Mrs. Coggs? I think Mrs. Coggs. Is that right? Gosh, I'm not sure which one, but I've got the um, Van Gogh um, digi kit that, that she has. I love books, of course, um, and just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, can you see that one? Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Butterflies and poppies. So pretty. I'm, I'm hoping a starry night is in here because um, I would love to pull it out and frame it if it was. Look at this. Gorgeous. Oh, someone did a little of their own drawing in here. Isn't that precious? Um, let me look this up and see if the Starry Night is in here. Um, let's see. Uh, hmm, I guess I'll have to look a little more carefully because they're by page number and it tells you about them. Um, like I like that one too. So pretty. Okay, well that's it for my haul at the library. And um, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you soon in another video. I have a couple of journals that I want to share with you. So, everybody, I hope you're having a great uh, weekend, and I will see you again soon.